Welcome to Torcron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to us and press that bell icon. Travel is a journey of discovery, and occasionally the strangest and most unusual discoveries are made. Explore the world of strange tourist spots to have your assumptions pushed to the limit and to spark your sense of wonder. Every location has a special story to tell, and every visit promises a unique experience. These are our picks for the top 30 strange places to visit in the world. The Spotted Lake Nestled near Osoyoos in British Columbia, Canada, Spotted Lake is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a testament to nature's intricate processes. As summer approaches and the mercury soars, the lake undergoes a transformation. The receding waters unveil a mosaic of colorful mineral deposits, turning the lake into a canvas of vibrant spots. These aren't random patterns. They are concentrated pools rich in magnesium sulfate, calcium, and sodium sulfates. The indigenous Okanagan Nation, who have lived in the region for generations, revere Spotted Lake as a sacred site. Each individual mineral pool on the lake is believed to carry its own tale, deeply intertwined with the Okanagan's traditions, beliefs, and folklore. Beyond its natural allure and cultural resonance, Spotted Lake has a historical facet. During the tumultuous times of World War I, the lake's minerals were deemed valuable. They were extracted and used in the production of ammunition, highlighting an era when this serene lake indirectly influenced global events. While the lake itself lies on private property, restricting direct access, it doesn't diminish its allure for visitors. The adjacent highway offers an unobstructed view of this geological marvel. The lake's distinctive appearance, categorized by its dotted mineral formations, is a direct consequence of its elevated mineral content, making it a focal point for both tourists and researchers. Salar de Ayuni The world's largest salt flat at over 10,000 square kilometers, and it is located in southwest Bolivia. It's considered one of the most extreme and remarkable vistas in all of South America, if not one of Earth's most remarkable. Ayuni is a revered global destination and a bucket list item for many. Its origins trace back to a prehistoric lake that eventually evaporated, leaving behind a desert-like landscape of bright white salt. The estimated 10 billion tons of salt within Salar de Ayuni make it visible even from space. Star Wars enthusiasts might recognize this salt flat as it made an appearance in Star Wars The Last Jedi during the final epic battle scene on the Krayt planet. The salt flats were covered by a layer of salt and reflect the sky, creating an optical illusion that makes the landscape look like a white desert with no horizon, and this creates a breathtaking environment. The Bolivian salt flats offer travelers a whimsical experience and have featured several viral social media posts. The sprawling white salt desert is a captivating itinerary and phenomenon. The real treasure of Salar de Ayuni, however, lies under the salt flat. Approximately 70% of the world's lithium reserves could be found there. Jellyfish Lake Nestled within the rock islands of Palau, Eel Malk Island cradles a marine marvel, the Jellyfish Lake. This saline lake, spanning approximately 12 hectares, is a spectacle of nature, teeming with millions of golden jellyfish. But what sets this lake apart is its evolutionary narrative. Over millennia, these jellyfish, isolated from the vast ocean, underwent a unique transformation. In the absence of natural predators, they lost their sting, evolving into harmless, translucent beings that now drift peacefully in this confined haven. For those with an adventurous spirit, the lake promises an ethereal snorkeling experience. Picture yourself immersed in its clear waters, surrounded by a pulsating golden cloud. Each jellyfish, with its delicate umbrella-like bell and trailing tentacles, moves in a synchronized rhythm, creating an underwater waltz that's both enchanting and serene. The lake's history traces back to the last ice age. As sea levels rose, seawater flooded the basin, creating this isolated marine lake. Over time, as the lake's connection to the ocean diminished, it became a unique ecological niche. 
The water's salinity and temperature vary with depth, creating distinct layers that support varied microorganisms, making it a hot spot for scientific research. However, the delicate balance of this ecosystem came under threat with increasing tourism. Recognizing the need for conservation, authorities took a bold step, temporarily closing the lake to protect the dwindling jellyfish population, and their efforts bore fruit, and today, the jellyfish numbers are steadily rising. Beyond its shimmering beauty, Jellyfish Lake is a living testament to nature's resilience and adaptability. The Island of Dolls Deep within the labyrinthine waterways of Zochimilco, south of Mexico City, lives an island unlike any other. An eerie silence envelops the place, punctuated only by the whispers of the wind. Here the trees bear an unusual fruit, thousands of dolls, their eyes vacant, some missing limbs, others decapitated, all swaying gently, watching over the island with an unsettling gaze. This peculiar island was the creation of one man, Julian Santana Barrera. Legend has it that Julian discovered the lifeless body of a young girl in the canal, and haunted by her memory, he began hanging dolls from the trees, believing they would appease her restless spirit and protect the island from further tragedy. Over the decades, his collection grew, turning the island into a surreal tableau of plastic and porcelain faces. For those brave enough to venture, a boat ride through the Zoka Milko canals will lead you to this haunting destination. The atmosphere is palpable, with many visitors reporting an uncanny feeling of being watched. Local lore suggests that the dolls come alive at night, animated by the spirit of that lost girl. The Island of Dolls has not only captured the imagination of those who visit, but has also made its mark in popular culture. It has been the subject of numerous documentaries and TV shows, each attempting to unravel the mysteries that shroud it. Beyond the island's macabre allure, it's worth noting that the Zoka Milko wetlands with their ancient floating gardens, or a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to the region's rich history and ecological significance. But for those who dare, the Island of Dolls awaits, a chilling reminder of the thin line between the living and the dead. Nazca Lines Considered to be one of the greatest mysteries of the time, the Nazca Lines can be seen from the air in the desert of Peru. The lines are amazingly crafted in geometric shapes and the shapes of animals. The region consists of a total of 800 straight lines, around 300 geometric figures, and 70 animal shapes. The most interesting thing about these lines is that they are not normal lines. They are as huge as 30 miles in length. These are known as biomorphs and are a magnificent tourist attraction of the region. Interestingly, these lines are impossible to identify from the ground, so special flights are offered to tourists for a time period of 35 minutes to explore these lines from the air. If you're a mystery fan, exploring the Nazca lines is just the right thing to do. Stonehenge. The rolling plains of Salisbury, England. Here, an enigmatic monument stands tall against the test of time, its origins shrouded in mystery. Stonehenge, a colossal arrangement of massive stones, beckons with tales of ancient civilizations and unsolved riddles. Spanning over 5,000 years, this prehistoric marvel has long puzzled historians and archaeologists alike. The sheer magnitude of its construction is a marvel in itself. Ponder this, the heaviest of these stones weighs an astonishing 25 tons. Yet, without the machinery we rely on today, our ancestors not only sourced these behemoths, but also transported and meticulously placed them in their current formation. The hows and whys of such an endeavor remain subjects of fervent debate. As for its purpose, theories abound. Was Stonehenge a sacred temple, a place where ancient peoples gathered for religious ceremonies? Or perhaps it served as an astronomical observatory, its stones aligned with celestial events, guiding agricultural practices or spiritual rituals? The allure of Stonehenge lies in these unanswered questions, making it a symbol of human curiosity and ancient achievement. Annually, over a million visitors tread the grounds of Stonehenge, each seeking a connection, a moment of reflection, or simply to marvel at its grandeur. And as they walk, the earth beneath occasionally reveals new secrets. Recent archaeological excavations suggest that Stonehenge was not a standalone structure, but part of a larger, intricate complex. 
hinting at a civilization far more advanced than previously believed. Yet with fame comes responsibility. Conservationists work tirelessly to ensure Stonehenge and its surroundings remain unspoiled for future generations. Way to mow glowworm caves, the heart of New Zealand's North Island. Here, nature's own light show awaits in the mesmerizing Way to mow glowworm caves. As darkness engulfs, thousands of tiny luminous beings light up the cave ceiling, creating a starry spectacle beneath the earth. These limestone caverns, intricately carved by relentless underground rivers over millennia, house a phenomenon seen nowhere else on Earth. The radiant blue-green lights are not stars or man-made illuminations, but glowworms, a species unique to New Zealand. These tiny creatures clinging to the cave's roof cast a bioluminescent glow, turning the cave into an ethereal underground galaxy. Visitors are often left spellbound as they embark on serene boat rides, gliding silently under this luminescent canopy. The reflections on the water below amplify the magic, making it seem as if one is navigating through a starlit universe. But the caves are not just a tourist marvel, they hold deep cultural significance. The Maori people indigenous to New Zealand have known of these caves and their glowing inhabitants for centuries incorporating them into their lore and legends. From a scientific perspective, the glowworms of Waitomo are a subject of fascination. Their unique bioluminescence, their life cycle, and their adaption to the cave environment offer rich insights into the wonders of evolution. Yet with such a delicate ecosystem, conservation becomes paramount. Efforts are continuously made to shield these glowworms and their habitat from pollutants and external disturbances. The aim is to ensure that the ethereal beauty of the Waitomo glowworm caves remains undiminished for generations to come. Lake Hillier, a saline lake in Australia on the edge of Middle Island, it's particularly notable for its pink color. This stunning saltwater lake is about 600 meters long and 250 meters wide, and it's surrounded by sand and dense vegetation made up mostly of eucalyptus trees. The pink lake water is separated from the blue water of the Pacific Ocean with just a single thin strip of earth, which is covered with melaleuca, a popular plant in Australia. Till today, nobody can really explain why the lake is colored pale pink, although there are many theories by scientists. The color of the water never changes even when the temperature and other factors change. And even if you put it in a bottle, the color is the same. Although the water is safe to swim in and not harmful to people's skin, the island has been closed for further research, so you can't visit it. But if you want to see Lake Hillier, taking to the skies is your best bet. There are scenic helicopter flights that operate daily between October and April because the temperature and weather is suitable during this time. Fly Geyser Rugged terrains of Nevada's Black Rock Desert here, amidst the vast expanse and unexpected marvel rises from the ground, the Fly Geyser. This isn't a relic from ancient times, but rather a serendipitous creation from the modern era. In 1964, a well drilling operation went awry. Instead of tapping into an unexpected water reservoir, the drill pierced a geothermal pocket. The result was a continuous spout of hot water, which over the decades deposited minerals, layer upon layer, forming the geyser's distinctive terraces and cones. But the true spectacle of fly geyser is its vibrant coloration. Thermophilic algae, which flourishes in the geyser's warm environment, produces a dazzling display of reds, greens, and yellows. This living canvas of color is in a constant state of flux, changing with the seasons and the water conditions. Interestingly, while many natural wonders take eons to form, Fly Geyser is relatively young. In just over half a century, it has become one of Nevada's most iconic landmarks. Its rapid growth is a testament to the sheer force and mineral-rich content of the water that feeds it. The geyser's fame grew, and in 2016, the Burning Man Project, known for its annual desert festival celebrating art and community, acquired the land. Recognizing its cultural and ecological significance, they opened it for guided tours in 2018, allowing visitors to marvel at its beauty while emphasizing the importance of conservation. Today, efforts are ongoing to ensure the geyser's preservation, 
Its delicate ecosystem, especially the algae that give it its signature colors, requires careful management. Panjin Red Beach The eastern shores of China where the waters paint a different tale. The Panjin Red Beach isn't your typical sandy shore. Instead, it offers a mesmerizing canvas of crimson, a sight so surreal it seems plucked from a painter's dream. Nestled in the Liao River Delta, this beach owes its fiery hue to a unique type of seaweed known as sueda. As autumn approaches, the green tendrils of this plant transform into a brilliant red, creating a vast, blazing landscape that contrasts darkly with the blue of those adjacent waters. But the red beach is more than just a visual spectacle, it's a haven of biodiversity. The endangered red-crowned crane, a symbol of longevity and luck in Chinese culture, finds refuge here. Alongside it, the Sega antelope treads softly, both species relying on this unique habitat for their survival. Visitors are drawn to this natural wonder, and wooden walkways have been constructed, allowing them to traverse the red expanse without disturbing its delicate ecosystem. However, the balance between human curiosity and nature's needs is a fragile one. Land reclamation projects have caused parts of this red haven to shrink, a stark reminder of the impact of human activities. Recognizing its unparalleled beauty and ecological importance, the area has been designated as protected. Conservation efforts are in place to ensure the future generations can witness this breathtaking blend of nature's artistry and resilience. Dead Vele, a place where time seems to stand still. Dead Vele, a hauntingly beautiful expanse in Nimibaya's Namib Nakluft Park, beckons with its eerie silence. Here the skeletal remains of camel thorn trees, believed to be around 700 years old, rise from a white clay pan, their dark forms creating a stark contrast against the backdrop of towering red dunes. This isn't a scene from a post-apocalyptic movie, it's a real-life canvas painted by nature's hand. The trees, long dead, don't decay because Dead Ville is one of the driest and sunniest places on Earth. The intense sun has scorched and preserved them, turning them into timeless monuments of a bygone era. Photographers and travelers from around the world are drawn to this surreal landscape. The juxtaposition of dark trees and gleaming white floor and the fiery dunes creates a visual spectacle that's both mesmerizing and thought-provoking. Every angle, every shadow tells a story of climatic shifts and nature's indomitable spirit. But Dead Valet is more than just a visual marvel. It serves as a poignant reminder of the planet's ever-changing climate. The trees once thrived here, but shifting sand dunes cut off their water source, leading to this ghostly panorama. Yet in this desolation, there's a message of hope. Tianzi Mountains Located in Zhang Zhai Zhai, China, it can be found about 1,000 kilometers from Hong Kong. If you are impressed by the Hallelujah Mountains in Avatar, a visit to witness their real-life counterparts is a must. There are 243 peaks and more than 3,000 pinnacles and spires in this national park. Due to its unique sandstone peak forest formations, karst caves, and water features, Zhang Zhizhi attained the prestigious status of China's inaugural UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. In 1982, Zhang Zhizhi National Forest Park became China's first national forest park, showcasing the iconic rocky tower formations of Zhang Zhizhi. Here you will find Beilong Elevator, which is a great glass elevator and is also the largest and tallest outdoor elevator in the world. Another must-visit is the Zhang Zhizhi Glass Bridge, which is the longest and highest glass-bottom bridge in the world. Other tourist attractions include Baofeng Lake, where you will find majestic waterfalls, Yellow Dragon Cave, which is praised as the most beautiful cave in the world, and Tiananmen Mountain, which offers breathtaking photo opportunities. Crooked Forest Located in Grafino, Poland, is a truly enchanting and mysterious natural wonder 
that captures the imagination of visitors worldwide. The forest is distinct from other forests by the peculiar curve of the pines, most of which are roughly 400 pine trees that twist about 90 degrees at their bases. Scientists, botanists, and nature enthusiasts have been perplexed by this strange event for a long time. The Dancing Forest is another name for the Crooked Forest because of the peculiar curve of the trees. The forest's strange attraction increased by how each tree appeared to have grown with a deliberate uniform curve. The exact origin of this tree's abnormalities and the origin of the forest remains under debate. Many theories believe that humans intentionally bent the trees or that massive snow loads may have been responsible, but none of these assertions have been proven. The Crooked Forest attracts curious travelers eager to witness its unique and supernatural beauty, despite the lack of a clear explanation. Visitors are urged to reflect and use imaginative thinking as they ask about the historical and natural forces that contributed to this fantastic scene. The Crooked Forest is a must-visit location for individuals who love the fascination of the rare and the mysteries of the environment. It leaves an enduring mark on anyone who encounters its entrancing woods. The Catacombs Catacombs of Paris are situated beneath the busy streets of the French capital. It has a frightening and fascinating underground system of tunnels and chambers and also a horrible and fascinating past. These underground catacombs, officially known as Catacombs de Paris, have long attracted visitors. They started due to Paris's overcrowded graves in the late 18th century. As the city's population rose, so did the number of residents who departed, creating unsafe and unhealthy environments inside the city's cemeteries. The remains of millions of Parisians were transferred to the catacombs to lessen the strain on the surface graves. The bones of an estimated 6 million persons are now buried in this convoluted system of underground ossuaries called the Catacombs of Paris. Tourists can explore this frightening underworld, where skulls and bones are carefully arranged on walls, creating a disturbing but strangely beautiful scene. The incident is a compelling analogy for how quickly time passes and for Paris's troubled past. Writings and statues found in some of the tomb sections attest to the catacombs' involvement in a wide range of historical and artistic pursuits and the passions and inspirations of those who descended into their depths. The catacombs are a must-visit for anybody interested in history, architecture, or the unexpected attraction of the underworld because of its atmosphere of eerie mystery and stimulating meditation. The Wave a mesmerizing geological formation located in the Coyote Buttes North area of the Pariah Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness in the United States. Despite multiple orange and red Navajo sandstone layers forming an unreal, almost water-like pattern, this iconic sand rock formation is renowned for its sloping wave-like appearance. The wave is a popular place for adventurers, photographers, and nature enthusiasts since it provides an unusual and remarkable experience. Access to the wave is restricted to maintaining its unique aesthetic and ecosystem, thus securing a permit is essential before the visit. The fact that there is a daily limit on the number of visitors further increases the sense of uniqueness and adventure linked with this natural wonder. Getting over the harsh desert environment on the road to the wave takes some skill. Hikers must be prepared for the path's often unexpected weather and rough terrain. The wave is a location that creates disbelief and wonder due to its captivating beauty and the sense of seclusion in the surrounding nature. Visitors worldwide flock to see the wave, a fantastic phenomenon that has caught the attention of landscape artists and outdoor enthusiasts owing to its unique geology and natural beauty. Socatra a distant and beautiful island in the Indian Ocean of the southern coast of Yemen, is a location of natural beauty and biological value. Due to its peculiar and distinctive terrain, which makes it a site unlike any other, Socatra, sometimes known as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean, has grabbed the curiosity of both tourists and scientists. Numerous Catra's status as a haven for endemic bird species is one of its ecological accolades. It is a sanctuary for bird watchers and ornithologists, 
because of its isolation and distinctive habitat, allowing various bird species to evolve independently. The Socotri, commonly known as the people of Socotra, have a distinctive language and culture. Their way of life is strongly related to the island's nature, and they are widely known for their kind hospitality. Their traditional building and fishing methods reflect their distinctive character and bond with the land and the sea. The natural and cultural significance of the Socotra has not been overlooked. The island's ecological significance and distinctive biodiversity have been acknowledged by its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The characteristics of life on Earth are seen in Socotra, where the powers of nature have produced a living museum of evolution and adaptation in a modest yet inspiring location that offers a singular view of the persistence and variety of life on our planet. Those fortunate enough to visit Socotra leave with a deep appreciation for the wonders of nature and the importance of protecting such ecosystems. Grand Prismatic Spring One of Wyoming's Yellowstone National Park's most spectacular and colorful geothermal features, it is well known for its stunning natural beauty and vibrant colors. The Grand Prismatic Spring's vivid colors result from the diverse microorganisms that thrive in the scalding hot water, creating different pigments corresponding to various water temperatures. The center of the spring boasts deep blue waters, which transition into a brilliant turquoise and then progress to shades of green, yellow, and red along the outer edges. The steam rising from the spring adds to the ethereal and surreal atmosphere. Visitors can appreciate the Grand Prismatic Spring from two main vantage points. The first is a boardwalk with an elevated perspective overlooking the spring, allowing for stunning photo opportunities. The second viewpoint is the Fairy Falls Trail, which leads hikers to an overlook with a panoramic view of the spring and its surrounding area. An iconic representation of Yellowstone's geothermal wonders, the Grand Prismatic Spring is a prime example of the incredible geological and biological variety present in the park. For nature enthusiasts, photographers, and anybody seeking a closer connection to the wonders of our world, Yellowstone is an outstanding vacation because of its bright colors, enormous scale, and breathtaking wilderness backdrop. Zhangyi National Geopark The Zhangyi National Geopark in China's Gansu Province is a stunning sight and a geological wonder. It's well known that the natural forces of nature created spectacular and colorful rock formations in this unique location throughout millions of years. The most famous aspect of Zhangyi National Geopark is the Danzia Landform, which comprises tall, angular sandstone pillars, canyons, and ravines. The mineral deposits and slow deterioration give the rocks vibrant and stunning colors. Tourists worldwide are attracted to the enchanting and otherworldly look generated by the red, orange, and yellow colors. In exploring the park, tourists can take advantage of the spectacular views of the Danzia Landform through well-kept paths and roadways. The park is divided into regions with distinct rock formations and hues. A few of the most popular viewing spots are the colorful desert area, Bingao Danzia scenic area, and Rainbow Mountains. The Zhangyi National Geopark is a geological marvel and evidence of the forces that have formed the Earth's surface throughout history. Due to its exceptional beauty, varied landscapes, and historical significance, it is a location that geology enthusiasts, photographers, and lovers of nature must visit. Anyone fortunate enough to see its grandeur will be moved to tears. The splendor of the natural world is prominently displayed here. Marble Caves the Asin region of southern Chile is home to the marble caves in General Carrera Lake, an environmental wonder whose surreal beauty attracts tourists, called the Catedrales de Marmol or the Marble Cathedrals. These caves were formed over hundreds of years by the turquoise waters of General Carrera Lake. 
the translucent blue-gray marble formations that line the cave walls set the marble caves apart. The interaction of light, water, and minerals produces a captivating and dynamic visual display. Boat tours provide a unique and immersive way for visitors to explore the caves by navigating channels and chambers. The finest times to explore the marble caves are in the early morning or late afternoon, when sunlight streams through the water and gives the marble surfaces a ghostly alien sheen. The caves display their most captivating and eye-catching use and patterns in the early morning and the late afternoon making it a dream come true for photographers and nature lovers. The marble caves are a monument to the ageless creativity of geological structures and the might of nature. For those who venture to this unique spot, tranquility and awe are enhanced by the lake's waters, cleanliness, and distant location. Visiting the marble caves is like entering a surreal world of light, water, and stone. It's a place where nature produces its art. Kawa Aijin Volcano Located on the Indonesian island of Java, a stunning and singular natural wonder renowned for its acidic crater lake, ethereal blue flames, and striking scenery. It's one of the planet's strangest and most fascinating volcanoes. The blue flames that erupt in the shadows are one of Kawa Aijin's most recognizable characteristics. The igniting sulfuric gases that are spewing from the volcano are what are causing these bizarre electric blue flames. When the gases interact with the oxygen, they ignite unearthly, resulting in the phenomena and a mesmerizing nightly sight. Many people journey to the crater at night to see this fascinating natural phenomenon. One of the most prominent and most acidic crater lakes in the world, Kawa Aijin is also known for its blue color due to the lake's high sulfur content and the volcanic minerals that seep into this water. The lake has a vibrant tint. The spooky and lovely contrast between the volcanic terrain and the blue lake is striking. The hike to the crater rim of Kawajin is strenuous and adventurous, requiring the right equipment and endurance, but the payoff is well worth the effort. Astonishing vistas of the surrounding mountains, the lake, vents, and the volcanic landscape may be seen from the summit's panoramic views. In addition to being a geological marvel, Kawa Aijin is a location where the forces of nature and humanity work interact. Miners laboriously and arduously harvest sulfur from the crater's vents by lugging large loads of chunks of sulfur down the slopes. Kawa Aijin is a riveting and humbling location for adventurers, photographers, and anyone looking to experience the untamed power of the Earth due to the volcano's combination of natural phenomena and the juxtaposition of the labor of the sulfur miners. Val de Cocora This place is home to the Quendo Wax Palm, the Colombian national tree. Located in the Cordillera Central of the Colombian Andes, the Los Nevados National Natural Park is home to volcanoes, lakes, and the country's famed coffee-growing region. Cocora Valley sits on the upper sections of the Quendo River in the central cordillera of the Colombian Andes at an elevation of 1,800 to 2,400 meters or 5,900 to 7,875 feet. The valley can be found in Los Nevados National Park. Day trips to the valley for trekking or every day from Salento. All throughout the valley on steep grassy slopes, you'll find almost 60 meters or 200 feet tall wax palms that serve as the valley's main attraction. The high height of the Kokoro Valley gives it its characteristically mild climate. The Andes block the prevailing westerly winds from the Pacific Ocean, creating a humid environment ideal for developing cloud forests at higher altitudes. Even within a single day, the weather can change radically. Temperatures range from a high of 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit to a low of 12 degrees Celsius, 54 degrees Fahrenheit annually, with an average of 15 degrees Celsius and 59 degrees Fahrenheit. The Quendo Wax Palm 
Sarah Xylan Quinn Duens, the Colombian national tree, and a great diversity of other flora and animals, some of which are endangered, are all safeguarded by the park's national status in the Kokora Valley. The Devil's Bridge Devil's Bridge is the name of many historic European bridges. The history of this bridge, located in Germany, and the modern difficulties encountered in its construction are pretty fascinating. Castles and cathedrals, carnivals and parades, monuments and landscapes are well known in Germany. Nonetheless, this mystery structure dominates the others, and you shouldn't pass it up if you're in this country. It's a fascinating building with a rich past an intriguing unanswered mystery, and, as of late, widespread notoriety thanks to Instagram. The Rockkotzbruck, German for Devil's Bridge, is indeed a distinctive and attractive bridge. An old tale goes that an old woman lost her cow and saw it grazing on the other side of the river, and she made a deal with the devil. The devil offered to construct a bridge in exchange for a human soul. Later on, however, the older woman fell short of her word and sent a dog instead of a human. The bridge is cursed by Satan as an act of retribution. <laughs> Another legend is that the bridge's creator sold his soul to the devil in exchange for the physical structure. Its mysterious appearance and apparent brilliance have made it the subject of such legends. At the present day, it's forbidden to cross the bridge and those who do so risk being killed. Some people also believe that crossing this bridge is like entering another realm and that you might even glimpse Satan's face. A boat that sailed under the bridge on a full moon may also reveal the occult powers of the devil. And finally, there is a pivotal point where visitors aren't allowed anywhere near the bridge. But even from a distance, it's a sight worthy of an Instagram post. Mm-hmm. Seriously, guys, there is no way that this bridge could have been built using human techniques. Pamukkale A beautiful and unique destination in Turkey, Pamukkale, which means cotton castle in Turkish, is famous for its stunning white terraces formed by the flow of mineral-rich thermal waters cascading down the mountainside. These terraces are a natural wonder and are often compared to cotton or snow Hence the name. The white terraces of Pamukkale are a remarkable sight, particularly when the sunlight reflects off the calcium-rich mineral deposits, creating a surreal landscape. The terraces and surrounding landscape offer excellent opportunities for photography and enjoying the natural beauty of the area. Visitors can wade in the thermal pools formed by the mineral-rich waters, which are believed to have healing properties. The water is warm, and the experience is quite relaxing. Also, close to Pamukkal, you can visit the ancient city of Heropolis, which is well-preserved and offers historical ruins to explore, including theaters, temples, and a necropolis. Pamukkal and Heropolis are designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, recognizing their cultural and natural significance. Lake Redpa also known as Lake Rose, meaning the Pink Lake, is located in northern Senegal, northeast of Dakar, and north of the Cap Vert Peninsula in Senegal. The lake ranges from pale purple in the morning to vibrant scarlet in the evening. Interesting, right? Here's the reason behind it. Halophilic bacteria, which are otherwise harmless, thrive in the lake's high salinity environment and are responsible for the lake's peculiar hue. During the dry season, the coloration really pops. The lake around three square kilometers may be found about 35 kilometers northeast of Dakar, the capital of Senegal. Lake Redba has been mined for its salt by locals since the 1970s. It's primarily used in seafood preservation. The locals, standing in water up to their waist, use scrapers to mine the lake bed for this mineral, which they then transport in baskets on the bottoms of their wooden canoes. Once the salt has been harvested, it's returned to the coast and piled in piles. These immaculate white hills of salt dot the lake's edge, making for a striking contrast against the pink water. The workers treat their skin with shea butter made from shea nuts harvested from the shea nut tree 
to protect it from the water's high salt. Plane of Jars The mysterious Plain of Jars in northern Laos, a region strewn with giant stone jars hewn from sandstone thousands of years ago, was utilized as a burial ground for considerably longer than previously thought, maybe for up to 2,000 years. These large jars, which may have been used to leave corpses out in the open until just their bones remained, may be older than 3,000 years, according to recent examinations. In addition to these antique jars, research indicates that most human bones were buried between 700 and 1,200 years ago. Local Lao mythology has it that a race of giants made the jars after scoring a decisive victory in a war. A beverage known as Lao Hai or rice wine or rice beer was brewed and stored in the jars by the giants. Stone jars were carved from sandstone, granite, conglomerate limestone, breccia, and other rocks in nearby quarries or from boulders taken from riverbeds and up to 120 jar sites have been located. Human remains, burial objects, and ceramics were discovered around the jars, leading some researchers to conclude that the jars served as prehistoric mortuary receptacles. Another explanation suggests the jars served as distillation pots, where the dead were stored to rot before being removed for cremation or reburial. The cylindrical containers, which may be as tall as 3 meters and weigh as much as 14 tons, feature a lipped rim to support a cover. Stone lids are pretty rare, which suggests that the jars probably had more perishable materials atop them. Following contemporary funerary customs, Thai, Cambodian, and Laotian royalty placed the deceased corpse into an urn during the first stages of the funeral rites. At this time, it's believed that the deceased soul is gradually transforming from the earthly to the spiritual world. After the ritual decomposition, a secondary burial or cremation occurs. The Plain of Jars was recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO on July 6 of 2019. Chocolate Hills Located in Bajal Island in the Philippines, the Chocolate Hills are an intriguing geological structure fascinating both geologists and tourists with their unusual composition and formation. Indeed, if you're seeking an adventure that combines geology, history, and natural beauty, the Chocolate Hills of Bohol beckon you to experience the magic for yourself. Aptly named after the color they take on during the dry season, these geological wonders transform into a stunning shade of chocolate brown, a somewhat surreal sight. The Chocolate Hills owe their existence to the coral reefs that once thrived in the warm waters of the Bajal Sea. Coral reefs developed and thrived in that warm, shallow water that once blanketed the area where the Chocolate Hills now lie millions of years ago. With the help of plate tectonics and rising sea levels, coral reefs were pushed up and out of the water, giving way to a limestone plateau, and over time, Erosion from rainwater and other natural forces wore away at that limestone, creating the unique karst landscape of the Chocolate Hills. The coral reefs that originally covered this area form the limestone in the Chocolate Hills. These fossils are made of calcium carbonate, which dissolves in water. Tunnel of Love Kleven, a little Ukrainian town never expected to become famous around the globe. The village's modest but steady population has long lived quietly, taking pride solely in its proximity to the more illustrious city of Rivne. However, a small freight train ran through Kleven daily for many years, transporting goods to and from a nearby wood processing factory. It followed the narrow gauge railway that had been built through the forest. Eventually, the trees and bushes would reach so close to the rails that the train would touch them and trim their branches as they passed. The trees climbed upward toward the sun, and one day their long limbs from different sides of the railroad became intertwined at the very top, where the train couldn't pass. A green corridor of intertwined trees and bushes formed at the close of the 20th century, and by the beginning of the 21st century, it had acquired the moniker of the Tunnel of Love. Lake Natron Lake Natron is a soda lake that's rich in minerals. 
It is located in northern Tanzania and is regarded as one of the deadliest lakes on Earth. The lake is 56 kilometers long and 24 kilometers wide, and it contains salt, soda, and magnesate deposits. This alkaline lake with crimson water looks very beautiful, but in reality, it's very scary. People have said that the lake turns animals that touch it into stone. Although there are pictures of the animals that have died in this lake looking like stone, it's unclear what made them that way. The salty water in Lake Natron is such a high pH that it can burn the skin and eyes of animals that aren't adapted to it. It's impossible for humans to jump or dive into the lake and remain alive. Till very recently, there were more people who have touched the moon than people who've gone to Lake Natron. As deadly as this lake is, its warm water has made 2.5 million fewer flamingos turn it into their breeding place. You can visit Lake Natron and walk around it on your trip to Tanzania, but swimming is not an option. Glass Beach The Glass Beach is a one-of-a-kind and intriguing beach where colorful sea glass litters the shores. Glass Beach in Fort Bragg, California is a stunning example of how nature can reshape and renew. Once used as a garbage dump, the area has been turned into a beautiful beach lined with shiny, smooth glass gems. Glass Beach has been around since the early 20th century when it served as a dumping ground for trash from nearby Fort Bragg. For decades, various trash items, including refrigerators, bottles, and even cars, went to the shore. The glass that came ashore was broken into small, smooth pieces by the persistent hammering of the Pacific Ocean and the passage of time, resulting in the glass beach we see today. The beach was cleaned up in the 1960s, but the waves and tides could only remove so much trash. Eventually, the city stopped dumping there and nature took over, smoothing out the glass shards and turning them into beautiful trinkets. The ocean's natural forces gradually smoothed out the rough edges, transforming the glass into frosted, smooth shards. Glass Beach is an inspiring example of how trash can be used in art. Still, it also serves as a sobering reminder of the need for responsible environmental management. It exemplifies how tough nature can be and motivates us to reduce the adverse effects of our daily habits on the earth. Glass Beach provides a stunning view of the harmonious interaction between human activity and the strength of the natural world. It's a must-see for anybody who values nature or history. It's now a state park reserve as a section of Mac Karecher State Park. The beach is a favorite destination for locals and tourists due to its picturesque scenery and the chance to marvel at Mother Nature's resourcefulness. As you stroll along the shore, you'll come across a rainbow of glass fragments in colors ranging from green and blue to brown and even more unusual hues like red and purple. Glass Beach is currently protected, so even though it may be tempting to collect sea glass there, doing so is illegal. The beach's natural beauty will be covered this way for future generations. Guests are welcome to take pictures, enjoy the beauty of the beach, and view the glass as an integral component of the ecosystem. Moai Amid the vastness of the Pacific Ocean, a solitary island holds secrets of an ancient civilization and its mystifying creations, the Moai. Rapa Nui, better known as Easter Island, cradles these immense stone figures, meticulously sculpted by the Rapa Nui people between 1250 and 1500. Stand beneath them, feeling small in their shadow, as you gaze upon the towering human forms with their elongated heads, which account for a significant portion of their stature. These statues are more than mere rock. They represent the Aringa Aura, the living visages of revered ancestors. In days long past, these guardians stood vigilant, their solemn faces overseeing clan territories, embodying authority, power, and the mystical essence known as mana. However, by the 19th century, a veil of mystery shrouded the island as all Moai lay toppled. 
Whether due to external influences or internal strife, these sentinels waited a time to rise again. The sheer effort behind crafting and positioning over 900 of these giants across the island is mind-bending. Paro, the tallest among them, reaches nearly 10 meters, with a weight that's truly staggering. Fashioned from volcanic materials like tuff, basalt, and red scoria, some theories suggest the statues were walked to their spots, tilted, and maneuvered with ropes in a harmonious collaboration of man and stone. But the Moai hold deeper secrets. Some wore pukua, or top knots, indicating a leader's status. Their eyes, once embedded with coral and obsidian or red scoria pupils, have seen the island's unfolding history. And upon closer inspection, you might discover petroglyphs, ancient symbols carved into their forms, each with its own tale to tell. So would you like to visit these strange places? Let us know in the comments below which of these places you would like to explore. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.